Praise the Lord. Praise, praise, praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Brethren, you're welcome once again to the presence of the Most High God this morning. You're welcome to Father for Christ Ministry International, the house of grace and mercy. God bless you as you have come to meet with the King of Kings this morning. I will surely meet you in the name of Jesus. You're welcome to another glorious Sunday service. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Brethren, let's just say thank you to you. We are in his presence once again. He knows that we are coming and he has an appointment with us. Let's say thank you for the breath of life. Let's say thank you for the gift of life. Let's appreciate him for we are partaker of his grace. Let's appreciate him because we are on the land of the living. Many people that are better than us, they are no more. But the Lord that has delighted in us and has given us his breath to be here, let's say thank you to him. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. It's, a, it's the last Sunday in the month of April. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name because you are good, because you are kind, and there is no one like you. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega. You are the Rock, you are Almighty. That, thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your holy name. We give you all the glory. We give you all adoration. We magnify your holy name, O oh Lord. Thank you, thank you. 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 Lord, we thank you. We bless your name, O oh God. We give you all adoration. We give you all adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Then I want you to say thank you to him. Find the reason in your heart and thank him. Thank him that you were sleeping last night and you are awake this morning. Many people did, but they're not here anymore. Many people slept, but they woke up into sorrow. But yours is not like that. Let's just say thank you to him. I appreciate him, oh God, for his good gifts. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all adoration. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The psalmist says in the book of Psalm 150, verse 1, just praise you, the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the fifth element of his power. Father, we thank you. We thank you, oh God. We praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's worship God with this song. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you, we give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We give you honor. We give you Let's go before our Lord, our Redeemer, the one that came to deliver us from the guilt of sin. Let's ask him as you have come before him tonight, this morning, that he will have mercy and forgive us and cleanse us from all our righteousness. Father, Lord, have mercy, have mercy and forgive us. Have mercy and cleanse us in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Have mercy upon us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sin in our hearts, every sin in our lives, Father, have mercy. Wash us and make us pure and whole again before you this morning. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, oh God. Redeem us to yourself. Redeem us. Redeem us to yourself in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have. Pray. Amen. Amen. This is our intercession. It's time to pray for the church of God. It's time to pray for the Christ Ministry International. And I'm believing as we pray that all our prayers shall be answered speedily in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to declare like this. Hand of God for power. 
hand of God for power. Rest of power for Christ Ministry International. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your hand, let rest is upon fire for Christ Ministry International. Rest your hand of power for you know, this ministry. In the in the mighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, hand of God for power, for signs and for wonders. Rest upon Father Christ Ministry International. Rest upon Father Christ Ministry International. Rest upon this ministry. Let your hand for power, for fire, signs and wonders. Rest upon this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rest upon this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rest upon this ministry. In Jesus' name we are praying. The lights of God illuminate darkness in and around this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lights of the most high God illuminate darkness in and around this ministry. In the name of Jesus. Let the light of this ministry shine. Father the Christ ministry arise and shine. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the light of God illuminate the darkness in and around this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the light of God illuminate this ministry, illuminate the darkness in and around this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, light of the Most High God illuminates in illuminate the darkness in and around this ministry. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. Holy Ghost, Ghost. incubates perfect Christ Ministry International in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, incubate this ministry. Let your Holy Ghost power incubate this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, incubate, incubate this ministry. Incubate, incubate in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your Holy Ghost incubate this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. Every plan of darkness plan of against darkness. Father Christ Ministry International, hear the word of the Most High God. Fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Every plan of darkness against this ministry, hear the word of the Most High God. Fail, 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, plan of darkness against Father Christ Ministry. Fail, fail willfully. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of the heavy plan of darkness against Father Christ Ministry International. Fill in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Every evil tongue arose against this ministry. Fire of God consumed them and burned them to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Evil tongues that are arising, that arose against this ministry. Fire of God consumed them and burned them to ashes. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Lord Jesus, remember your covenant and bring to pass all your promises for us on this mountain. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, remember your covenant and bring to pass all your promises for us on this mountain. From all your promises for us on this mountain. Bring them to pass. 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 All your promises for us on this mountain. All your promises for us in this ministry. Bring them to pass. 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 In Jesus' name we are prayed. Fire for Christ Ministry International. Hear the word of the most high God. Arise and shine for the light has come in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of the Christ Ministry International. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine for the light has come. 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 Arise and shine for the light has come. Fire of the Christ Ministry International. Hear the word of the Most High God. Arise and shine. For the light has come. 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 For the Christ Christ Mission International. Hear the word of the Most High God. Arise and shine. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your light has come. In the name of Jesus. Your light has come. Your light has come. Your light has come. In the name of Jesus. 
For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Destiny help us. Destiny. Ministry help us. Assigned to this ministry. We are right now. Arise and locate Father Christ Ministry International. In the mighty name of God. Arise and locate Father Christ Ministry International. Arise and locate Father Christ Ministry International. Destiny help us. Ministry help us. Assigned to this ministry. Arise and locate. Arise and locate. Father Christ Ministry International, arise and locate. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise and locate. Arise and locate. Father Christ Ministry International, in the mighty name of Jesus, arise, locate. Arise, locate. Arise, locate. Arise, locate. Arise, locate. Arise, locate. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise and locate this ministry. Ministry help us. Destiny help us. Arise and locate this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Oh Lord our God, give us a new song on in this ministry and on this mountain. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Give us a new song on this mountain. Give us a new song. On this mountain, give us a new song. On this mountain, in the mighty name of Jesus, give us a new song. On this mountain, in the mighty name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Lord Jesus, arise and make this ministry a solution ground. In the mighty name of Jesus, make it a deliverance. Ground. Make it a solution ground in the mighty name of Jesus. As many people will come to you and ask and request of you, Lord Jesus, grant unto them their petitions and their desires according to your will. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, make this ministry a solution ground. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, I'm going to be opening. Um, the service are going to be praying and let's begin to ask the Lord Holy Spirit to come. Holy Spirit come and take your place in this environment. Holy Spirit begin to come, begin to take charge take your place in this environment in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to ask the Holy Spirit of God take charge, take charge of, of this morning's service. Take charge of this morning's service in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God take charge of this morning's service Take charge of this glorious service in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to declare that the Holy Spirit of God will take absolute control of this service in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, take charge, take charge, take charge, take charge of this money service, take charge of this money service in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, take charge, take charge, take charge. In the mighty name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we are praying. Fire of God, envelope this money service and envelope my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, fire of God, envelope this money service and envelope my life. Fire of God, envelope this money service and envelope my life. Envelope, envelope, envelope. Let your fire from above envelope this money service and envelope my life. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. Power of the Most High God, rest upon all the ministers and, and, and everyone that is going to be present here this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your power rest upon all the ministers this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, your power for signs and wonders, let it rest upon all of us. In the mighty name of Jesus, power of signs and wonders. Power for signs and wonders rest upon us all in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Every evil agenda against this morning service, hear the word of the Most High God, fall down and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Evil agenda against this morning service, again, is anyone present here this morning? For then and die in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Satanic strategy against this morning service. Every satanic strategy against this morning service. What are you living for? Die 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Satanic strategy against this money service. What are you living for? Die, 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 die. We, be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Be cancelled. Every satanic strategy against this money service be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. When you come by, do not pass me by. In the mighty name of Jesus, touch me with your hand of power for signs and for wonders. When you come by, do not pass me by. Do not pass me by. I am here this morning. Oh, Lord, visit me in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not pass me back. 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 Do not pass me back in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, when you come calling this morning, do not pass me by in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not pass me back in Jesus' name we are praying. My Father and my God, as I've come to you this morning, Visit me in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit me and retouch me. Visit me, O oh Lord. In your presence, I do not want to go back the same way I came. In the mighty name of Jesus. Visit me. 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 For in Jesus' name we are praying. Months of April. Hear the word of the most high God. Vomit my portion before the end of this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Before you disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. Vomit my portion. Vomit my miracle. Vomit my testimony. Vomit my victory. Vomit my glory in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Vomit my portion. Vomit my portion. Months of April. Yeah, the word of the most high God. Vomit my portion. Vomit my portion. Vomit my portion. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. My helper, arise and locate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my helper arise and locate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, let my helper arise and locate me. Arise and locate me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I cover myself and all my loved ones with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself and all my loved ones with the blood of Jesus. We shall not weep. We shall not mourn on anyone in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover myself. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. Cover ourselves. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Throughout this month, month and throughout this year, I shall be celebrated. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall be celebrated. I shall be celebrated. I shall be celebrated. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I shall dance my dance and sing my song in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I prophesy that I shall dance my dance and sing my song in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall dance my dance and I shall sing my song in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Oh Lord, arise and give me my testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, arise and give me my testimony. Give me my victory. Give me my testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, give me my testimony. Give me my victory. Give me my testimony. Give me my victory. In the mighty name of Jesus, give me my testimony. Give me my victory. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. Every agenda of darkness, of the enemy, against me and my household, Fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Every agenda against me, against my family, fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Fail, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Every agenda of darkness of the enemy against me and my also fail woefully in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Lord Jesus, catapult me to the mountain top. In the mighty name of Jesus. Catapult me to the mountain top. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let us continue in that mode. Let us continue to appreciate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, for another opportunity to be here today. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for counting us worthy even to be alive in your presence the last day in the month of April. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. So many started this year. So many started this year, but they are no longer here. But you've been merciful to us. You've been gracious to us. We thank you, King of Kings. We thank you, Lord of Lords. The all-powerful God, we thank you. The all-knowing God, we thank you. The ancient of days, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the lily of the valley, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. From the bottom of our hearts, God, we thank you. The God that is too faithful to fail, we thank you. The shepherd of our soul, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Arugo Ojo, we thank you. We call you Abba Father. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. A thousand tongues is not enough to thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. For the men, for the women, for the children. Lord, we thank you. For not allowing us to cry over any member of this ministry, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. For not allowing the wishes of the evil ones to manifest in this ministry, Lord, we thank you. Father, we even thank you for where you are taking us to, Lord. Father, we thank you because we have not come to see any man today, but we've come to meet with you. Father, Lord, we thank you because we are going to have that new experience in your presence this morning. Father, we appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. We give glory to the Lord. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. Adoration, adoration to the Lord. He reigns. Adoration to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns, he reigns. Adoration to the Lord, Almighty Father, thank you. Almighty Father, thank you. We have nothing to give you than to say thank you, Lord. Almighty Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, Almighty Father. Thank you, Almighty Father. Thank you. We have nothing to give you than to say thank you, Lord. Almighty Father, thank you. Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. For you are glory of everyone. To be there. 
Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, our hymn for this glorious Sunday service is taken from in 104, page 73. In 104, page 73. If you are there, shout hallelujah. 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 There, there is a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And I know that is the spirit of the Lord. There are sweet expression on his face. And I know that they give presence of the Lord. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Heavenly Dog, stay right there with us, filling us with your love. And for these blessings, we lift our hearts in praise. Without a doubt, we know that we are being revived when we shall leave this place. There are blessings you cannot receive till you know in his fullness and believe. You're the one to profit when you say, I am going to walk with Jesus all the way. Sweet Holy Spirit, Sweet heavenly dome, stay right there with us, filling us with your love. And for these blessings, we lift our hearts in praise. Without a doubt, we know that we are being revived when we. 
we shall be displayed. If you say he saved you from your sin, now you will be held up and commentary. You can make it right if you will yield. You will go Spirit that we feel, sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Heavenly Dove, stay right there with us, filling us with your love. And for this blessing, we lift our eyes in praise. Without a doubt, we know that we are being revived when we. Second hymn is taken from hymn 230 on page 155 on our hymn book. Hymn 230, page 155. I need thee every hour. I need thee every hour. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. Lord, tender voice like that can be. I need thee, oh, I need thee, every I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee, I need thee every I stay down when that night I need you, oh, I need you, every I need you, oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee. I need thee every hour in joy. Weekly and about of life's day. I need you, oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. I need thee every Teach me thy will, and thy riches promise in me are fulfilled. I need thee, oh, I need thee, every I need thee, oh, bless me, now, my Savior, I come to O oh Lord, help me to walk with thee to the very end. In the name of Jesus. Today's Bible reading will be taken from Psalm 29. Psalm 29, <clears throat> verse 1. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunder. The Lord is upon many waters. Verse 4. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Verse 5. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Ye the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. Verse 6. 
verse 6, he maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebron and Siri, on the young unicorn. Verse 7, the voice of the Lord divideth the flames of the fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the, the wilderness. The, the Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. Verse 9, the voice of the Lord maketh the hens to calve and the skull of the forest. And in his temple doeth everyone speak of his glory. Verse 10, the Lord sitteth upon the flood, ye the Lord sitteth king forever. Verse 11, the Lord will give strength unto his people, and the Lord will bless his people with peace. This is the word of the Lord. Can you please take this prayer point? May we continue to hear the voice of the Lord. May we continue to hear the voice of the Lord. In Jesus, my name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, this is the time to intercede for the nation. And when you look at the place we just read, Psalm 29, and look at verse 11. So the Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with what? With peace. The Lord will bless his people with what? Peace. peace. And that is what we you all know, desire at this present time. The whole world needs what? Peace. Peace. For the peace. So within the few minutes, we want to ask for peace. Amen. Amen. I want to stand in this time. We say, we sit for Let's pray. That was a prayer for the peace of Jerusalem. And those that love Jerusalem, we hear the food thereof. But whenever we're interceding for the nations, you know, make sure you are praying. Whenever there is any intercession prayer, make sure you are praying. Prayer of intercession goes a long way. Bow down your head and begin to thank God for the nations. Say, Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We appreciate you for the peace we enjoy right now. But if there is war in any place, beloved, there's not going to be peace. Go and ask the people in, in Ukraine, go and ask the people in Syria, the people in Russia, go and ask them. Even those in Israel, go and ask them. Say, so, Father, we thank you for the peace we're enjoying in the United Kingdom. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We appreciate you for this peace. Lord, we give you all the glory. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, let's pray. Say, Father Lord, Father Lord. Let, there be peace let there be peace all over the world. Over the world. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let there be peace. Let there be peace. Let there be peace all over the world. Lord, we need your peace more than ever before. Let there be peace. Let there be peace, Lord. Let there be peace all over the world. We need your peace more than ever before. We need your peace. Lord, let there be peace. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. In the name of Jesus, let there be peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we pray against the Father. Father. Have mercy upon the whole world. In the name of Jesus, have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy. 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 Have mercy upon the world. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. In Jesus' so name we pray. Say, so in your mercy, Father Lord, restore the economy of this country and the whole world. In the name of Jesus, Father, in your mercy. Restore our economy, but restore, 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 restore. In your mercy, O Lord, restore, 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 restore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are to follow the Bible, I say nobody can come unto him except he what? He draw such a person. Yes. You can't force anybody to serve God. And that's we say we're not doing evangelism enough. We're not doing this enough. If you like, <laughs> yeah. go and sleep at some people's 
Hey, man, God, they will not serve God. Some have given their life to Satan. It's only God that can do. Ours is to what? To preach, to pray. Some people, they are not ready. The more you ask them to serve God, the more you will see them doing the wrong thing. And that's the reason we are going to ask him. He can do it. Bible says, the heart of the king is in those hands. And is able to what? To direct it to wherever he likes. Proverbs 29 verse 1. And that's why we're going to pray. Uh, say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, draw the heart of the whole world to yourself. In the name of Jesus, draw our heart to yourself. Draw the heart of your people to yourself, oh Lord. Make your people to serve you. In the name of Jesus, make your people to serve you. You can do it to all the heart of your people. In the name of Jesus, draw your people to yourself. Draw your people to yourself. In the name of Jesus, draw your people to yourself, oh Lord. Draw your people to yourself. Draw your people to yourself. Draw your people to yourself. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, draw the heart of your people, oh Lord, and let people return back to you. In the name of Jesus, draw your people back. Draw your people back. Draw your people back to yourself. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus, there we pray. Amen. Amen. They saw the angel of God live and direct in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. They even tried to what? To rape angel. Yeah. They said unto him, the man that accommodated them, say, release them. Yeah. Let us sodomize them. Yeah. <laughs> And that's where the, the word Sodom mice came from. Amen. They pick it from there. They were even planning to stay with angels. So they love it. And comparing what happened that time to what is happening now. Um, it's very far from each other. Let's pray to one. Say, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. And let there be rain of revival upon the whole world. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let there be rain of revival. Let there be rain of revival. Oh, upon the world, let there be, let there be, let there be, let there be rain of revival. In the name of Jesus, let there be rain of revival. Let there be rain of revival. Let there be. In the name of Jesus, Father, we want rain of revival. Yes, the rain of revival. That will bring your people back to you. Let there be hold on. Let there be rain of revival. Let there be rain of revival. In Jesus, let we pray. Do you know? If the doctor that we hear somebody is sick, what will he do to the patient? Eh? He will just be looking. If, if a doctor is suffering from epilepsy and the time he's supposed to use the stethoscope, the doctor just wonder what will happen. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you will not understand what I'm saying. If the church is sick, how will the church help him? The story coming out of churches now, uh, beloved, is, is another thing. Let's pray. I listened to this morning. A lady went to a pastor. Say, sir, I discover the people in my family, they are dying at the tender and young age. I don't want to die. And again, I want you to pray for me so that I can make it in there so that I will be able to look after my parent, age 19. And the next thing pastor did was, I can't really remember the name of the tablet. The one that we want to see, but the pastor prayed the tablet and gave us a look. That's what I'll pray on it. The are notice in the tablet. And the lady used the tablet. The next thing, pastor read the lady. Oh, Jesus. Eventually, the lady could not recover and died after four days. Somebody looking for long life and prosperity, according to the word of God. You say, ah, <laughs> I mean, that's George for me. In 19, I mean, was she asking for too much? Please pray for me. People are dying at young age in my family. I don't want to die. And I want God to bless me so that at least I'll be able. To help my family. And I don't want to die because I can see that something is wrong in my language. And I want you to pray for me. And that the man pray into the table. At least people believe, Pastor. <laughs> they have put a meeting to not knowing that he has got another plan. Pray. Say, Father Lord, 
in your church. Yeah. That's the reason I said, if the doctor is sick, what we have to do what? To the patient. There will be a lot of problems. Even they are, they are not sick. Whenever they are on strike, they will say, oh, what, what is going on? They create the doctors about strike. Say, Father Lord, in your church, and let there be revival in your church again. Let there be divine the in your church again. Is it just begin to pray the Lord again? In Jesus' name, it's time for our Sunday school. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to learn from you today. We pray not that you be the one to teach us yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for wisdom, we pray for knowledge and understanding. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We started lesson seven last week. Jesus is king. We read the scripture text, the memory verse, Matthew 2, verse 2, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. So we stopped at the third paragraph, special characteristics of his kingdom. The second page, page two. He whose heart is filled with this has the kingdom of God within him. Christ rules there. It is by the power of this that Jesus rules his subjects. There is but one true test by which one can prove his love for Jesus. John 14, 15, 23, 24. Jesus was born a king, lived a king, died a king, rose a king, and is reigning a king. He reigns as sovereign with absolute authority, not limited by human laws or religious bodies. You know, the, the earthly kings, queens, at one time their reign will stop, maybe naturally through passing away, but they can't reign forever. Though in some African countries, they want to reign and reign and reign and reign not taking into account that human beings cannot reign forever. And at times their own idea of reigning is the father will pass it to the son, the son will pass it to the next son, blah, blah, blah. But that's not how Jesus is. He reigns, he's sovereign, he will continue to reign. We fear human dictatorships, but we need not fear his. It is clear that Jesus has unlimited authority. So how should we treat his commands? How should we treat God's commands? We need to respect his commands. We need to honor his commands. We need to abide by his commands. But like I said last week, we'll rather abide by the commands of the king of England than the, in fact, in Nigeria, if a military men make command, you will, Obey their command before you even be saying, you know, people respect uh, commando than Jesus. When the uh, soldier tells you, sit down, you sit down, you jump up. Did you say sit? Stand up. You, you'll be jumping all over the place. But if we can imbibe that in our Christian life, it would make life better for every one of us. Jesus proved his authority. Matthew 12, 28, Jesus said, if I cast out devils by the spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. There is no question of by what power did, by what power Jesus did miracles. Thus, there can be no questions that his kingdom was in force while he walked here. John the Baptist preached, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus began his work preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. His kingdom was already in action. Many are looking for Jesus to set up an earthly kingdom here and reign from Jerusalem for 1,000 years. 
I don't know if anyone watched or read the story of a pastor in an African country that said people should fast, starve, mm. yeah. so that they can see Jesus. Okay. And when I saw him, he looked robust. He didn't look like someone that was starving and fasting. Here we tell our children, you need to study. We want you to excel. We want you to be doctors and lawyers and this and that. He said the children should not go to school. So people are withdrawing their children from school because a man of God told them that. But the height is you tell people to starve because they want to meet Jesus. And people are dying, dying, and dying, and you are burying them because they want to see Jesus. You can see how people have been brainwashed. And someone passed a comment, ah, thank God me, I'm a Muslim. So how do you now go and preach to people that you want to invite to the kingdom of God when they are seeing all these atrocities? No, how, how do we justify it? A lot, a lot of things. When you, you read one today or you see one today, you'll be like, this is the maximum. The next day, you see another one that supersedes, like it's a competition. I'm going to do the one that will be more than what people have heard before. And people think, oh, it's the kingdom of God in, on earth. These people are believers. They want to lead us to Christ. Where are they leading us to? So now more than ever before, every man needs to strive for their salvation. Look at the example Pastor gave us now. She went to look for a solution and she lost her life. How do you explain things like this? Now people are saying, ah, if this is how your own God does, I don't want to be part of it. It's better I'm just of my own and I have my peace. My God is in my heart. I will worship him from inside my room. He hears. Nobody wants to associate with Christianity anymore. Because even in the church, there's already pro problems. Many are looking for Jesus to set up earthly kingdom here and reign from Jerusalem for 1,000 years. This teaching is a great deception to souls. It causes lost ones to think they have a better opportunity to be saved in the future reign of Christ. Somebody said, this Jesus has been coming, coming, coming since I was born. No, I'm now 50. He still hasn't come. Nobody is coming. He's just a hypnotization. And, and the person used all this very big, big grammar. It's the opium of the masses. Is the this one, this one. At some point, your brains will open and you will understand there's no Jesus coming. Just this life, that is where it ends. And I was like, this brother is already old and he's saying this. One. When will he now experience this Jesus? And the interesting thing is these are people that were in Christ, but a minister messed them up. And they're like, if this man that I hold so much in high esteem can do this, then there's no Christianity anyway. It's just deceit. And they're already in their 60s, 65. And it's now they don't want to worship God anymore. Because one man has led them astray. So at the end of the day, it's not what anybody tells you about Christ. It's what you try to know yourself that is going to sustain anyone. The truth is that Jesus has been reigning in his kingdom for nearly 2,000 years. The time these people are looking for Jesus to come back and save them is the time he's coming to judge them. That's so scary. And it can happen at any time. Nobody knows. It's not because you're a church goer or because you know the Bible. It says if there's just one blemish, that's it. 
And this race is not easy. It's not an easy race at all. Even when you are trying to mind your business, they will bring the sin to your, to your doorstep. You have the one to tell yourself, no, 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 no. I don't want to be involved in this. When some people bring some packages like this, I tell you, because you're a Christian doesn't mean you can't make money this way. And you will see the handwriting of evil on it. But because we are desperate, especially in this dispensation, with all this no money, no money, there is cool cash. You can do it. Nothing. God doesn't say we shouldn't be rich. We will pay our tithes and offering from the big money. People get carried away. They lose their salvation. That's the dispensation we are in now. And it says God is coming to judge. So I think we all have enough time now. Enough time. It's not a situation where you say, hey, let me just quickly give me two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. I will change now. That's it. When it goes boom, that's it. First Corinthians 15, 24, 26. Jesus is to reign till he had put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. The second death has no power over saved souls. I don't know if anyone saw one of that video. One woman that tried to kill, so she killed herself and her husband was sitting there recording it yeah. till the woman died. The man was there and he had the audacity to come and put that on social media. Okay, tell me, that woman now, she's wasted her life for someone who doesn't care. Where is she going to end up? Where is she going to end up? Because she couldn't tell herself, you know what? If this is toxic, let me just go to God. And there are people like that in the church. They come every day when they have one small problem like this. They, mm, this one, I go to church, this hasn't happened to me. They fall into depression. Where is it that you will get the help and solution if not in the presence of God? When we are coming to the presence of God, when we want to worship God, we should be excited. I'm going to meet my father today. He's going to minister to me in a special way. That's not the time for you to now say, this problem I have is the biggest one in the whole wild world. I'm not going to church anymore. Then when that problem solves, you come back. I'm a child of God. We dance again. If any little thing comes again, you run away from God. We can't live our lives that way. We cannot. So now, the, the woman has died. Judgment has come. How do you explain? Because my husband was not showing me love. That's why I decided to prove to him. And that's not the only story. It happened to one in Nigeria. She burnt herself. The man was videoing till she died and the whole thing burnt. What is it that that person has benefited? Jesus put the enemy of death under his feet when he takes away one sense. The second death in which the soul is cast into hell is defeated when the blood of Christ is applied to the sinful heart. 1 Corinthians 15, 55 to 56. There are a lot of verses we can read there. The first death is physical. The second death, spiritual. The first separates from man. The second separates from God eternally. Imagine after saying, oh, I've been a Christian for 40 years, and the person that has been gyrating all over the world, everybody now ends up in the same place. How sad would that be? It says the second separates from God eternally. Jesus will come and receive his people and present the victorious kingdom to his father. I pray that God will count all of us worthy to be part of this. That, that's the, the benefit of being saved. But right now, 
as difficult as things are, nobody wants to die. You will still find one excuse, ah, when I do this one, then I'll be ready for Christ. We have to be ready every time, like soldiers, ready for war. But almost everyone is not ready. Almost everybody is not ready. We just say it. I want to reign with Jesus in his kingdom. But the things, the expectations, none of us want to do it. Nobody wants to make that sacrifice. It's difficult. But if that's the only way, we have to do it. Then come at the end. This dispensation will end and the next one begin. We can see from these scriptures that Christ's reign as king is from his first coming until his second. He would continue to reign forever and ever. His sovereign, that Jesus of 1920 is the same Jesus of 2023. It's just that the way we are living our lives now is different from the way it was then. I keep saying, the main culprit, the destroyer of everything, is this mobile phone. Is this mobile phone. You are looking for one simple thing. It will carry you to where you don't even know you are going. When you get there, you'll be like, how did I get to this place? Huh? Then you run back again. And every day, things keep changing. Imagine we as adults now, we are still struggling to manage mobile phone. Look at the children. Look at the young ones. At the end of the day, so I will tell you, no, auntie, I'm not playing with the phone. I'm just reading my Bible. They're not reading Bible. They've gone somewhere else. That's the dispensation. So what do we do? We have said that Christ's kingdom is an inner unseen one. It causes outward manifestation as it influences the life, but itself remains unseen. It is the joy of all who love the Lamb that was slain to count him worthy of all praise and worship and obedience. None will overdo it. Is it is, is what is in you. You can't have bitterness in you and think love would come out. So it's what we have in us that would eventually manifest. I can't see anybody's heart and nobody can see my heart. So it's a decision for each and every one of us to make. Just a thought. God wants men, but he does not need them. Men need God, but they do not want him. Is that not an irony? There's one song. What, what have I done that God is so mindful of me? And that's one thing we all need to understand. Nobody is indispensable when it comes to things of God. If you go and be sure enough, I want to Google them, I won't do it without me. They can't do this. From nowhere, God will just raise someone up. I pray that that would not happen to any one of us. So we, we need to want him because we are the ones that need him. And he's the only one that can make solutions in this life we live. I pray that God himself would give us understanding of his word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray. We acknowledge you as the King of Kings in our life. We pray, Lord, that you will continue to reign supreme in all our affairs in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. At the end of the day, Lord, Father, we pray that we will all reign between your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Verse seven. Jesus is King. Any question or any contribution? Jesus is King. I will take a moment of us together. Matthew two two. Let's go. The same. Where is it that is born King of the Jews? 
For we have seen his stars in the east and are come to worship him. See, we see that he's born king of the year. Jesus is not king of the year, but king of what? Of the world. King of anyone that is ready to serve him. Many are only seeking him for bread and butter. Men are not really seeking him for their what? For their salvation. And the primary objective of this Christianity or Christian journey is what? Salvation. Why are we talking about this problem going on here and there? Those people are into competition. This one has got five widgets, I need my own. I was going to university, I want to build my own. And that's the reason they will be using other people's words. So I came to it. And people are getting into blood money. Key into what they don't know the source. But the day we accept Jesus as the king of what we will have. Then we are on our way to heaven. If we are no longer seeking God. Don't read your Bible very well. When that time, you will see a lot of people, even while he was here on earth, people will gather around it. Not for their what? For their salvation. Not to seek it. Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were there to cause him what? Problem. They're looking for what to grab, <laughs> what they would use to grab him. Other people were there, because they know that whenever I finish ministry, there's going to be food. They would usually multiply the what? Fish and the fish, fish, and fish and bread. And they will, they know that we have, and that's the reason. Because if they are really seeking him for salvation, the time they were condemning, condemning Jesus, will they be the one that we bestowed in him? All of them, that's why they say Hosanna today, crucifying what? Tomorrow. So in order for us not to join the multitude, we must know the reason. It's good to pray. It's part of, part of uh, our Christianity, to pray and to seek for them. But we must not forget the primary agenda. Amen. I was say, what will it prove you and I? If we gain the whole world, and we lose what? Our soul. So, what are we going to use what as a next stage for it? When they go and see, ask people to sit down in the church and begin to ask them questions. Many don't know the reason they are in the church. Many. Ask them the reason they are serving God. Many don't even know. Even pastors, workers. You will see even pastors talking to you. You'll be in their midst. I'm not even talking to members now. You will see them. Or they will be telling you how to gather things, how to, uh, to make things happen. Why are the pastor going into a particular? If it is because of your salvation, do you need to do you need to go and get anybody? No. But because they are looking for another thing. I want it to boom. I want this, I want that. That's how you will, we talk, even as pastors. Well, we will, you'll be hearing me, what you'll be saying. You will not be wondering. If it is just because of your salvation and to win souls for Christ, you know, it's not uh, what these two people are doing. No, you do. Why do you have to keep people? Why do you have to do this? You're ready to surrender everything. I would say the foolish. Is gathering what with without knowing him, who will spend it? Yoruba and Jada. Who now she will encourage you? Eh, as you remember, you back. We as you encourage you. Like me too, man. Even children of now this even they will even be too sorry. They will come and say, "What's what's this?" <laughs> I've told you before, a friend of, uh, of my uncle. The man has got house in the Alina Bin. 
the wife has got housing to his street. And when you've got houses in those places, beloved, you are talking of best places to own what property. And the man separated from the mother. And one day, the man said to the daughter, we have to go to Nigeria. He said, no problem. And they traveled. They moved from point A to point B. And when they go to the second one, the lady now is the father. So why are we doing all this? So I'm only showing you what we are going to give you later in future, what we are living by for you. And then you look at the father and say, who asked for, who asked you for this? <laughs> so you people are building house, houses without any good road leading to your houses. So I don't tell you I need anything. Let us go and do whatever you like with all this problem. And the man started crying. A man died also, living in America. And he didn't back to Nigeria. The friends, because the man died maybe 50 something or before 60. And they gave them the will and everything. Before the friends to their father realized what was happening, they sold the houses. And the remaining maybe one or two. So one of the father now called and said, We had you sold the house. He said, Yes, it's in our father's house. So what do you think we want to do with that? I said, What about the remaining two? Don't sell it. They say, we don't even want it. Are you ready? We're going to give you the paper. We don't want it. <laughs> so the best thing you can give your children is to teach them the word with the will of the Lord. They are going to make it. Yes. It's good to give them education, everything. Especially when they are in this part of the world, they are going to make it. I just say, I say, I'm struggling. I want to give them this. I want to give them that. It's just a waste of time. Make sure you teach them how to serve what? To serve God. Okay, if you don't do that, I just say, you got it. They will not even look at it. Some of them will dash for me. They just say, Mama, you want that one? Go and take it. And you will not look back where you are. Huh? Agree, I think we get really. Those guys said to them, you know what happened? The, the friend to their father, the man started selling his own property and is using the one. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said, uh -huh. You do this guy. <laughs> this is what you've done. Especially those, a, go check it. Most of the children born abroad, they don't fight for this thing. Some of them, they don't. So they don't know that they have big property. They, they don't care. The environment has what has taught them not to look at all those things. So if you don't kill yourself, because you better plan your life very well. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I was talking to me, he said, ah, this children we brought here. Ah, the way they are doing this, they are not good. I said, who says who say so? Just teach them how to know God. All these things you are putting here and there. Some of them, they will just, they will sell it over and they will not even remember the <laughs> That is when I will write it with. I will ask them not to not to sell it. Even when you are here, that is when you say you ask them not to sell. They will hold it. We are selling. Okay. Some of them they will really want to punish you. They will give the money to charity, and you will be rolling where you are. If you make it to heaven, you will be jumping up. If you, if it is there, you will be rolling inside fire. May that not be our lot. <laughs> so I'm going to put the window. They say they must not sell it. They will leave it. They think we that we can they will not maintain it, and that will be the end of everything. Is that they won't sell it and divide the money? A man also, with all these people that built a plane and everything, you know the brother, uh, the one introduced to you by Abraham. The man has got a lot of property. You are talking of real money, things that were billions in Nigeria. And the children, they've not been to Nigeria. So early this and last day, they went for one party in Nigeria. In one party, Sonny was there, Basi was there, Ayuba was there. Yeah. So when the children go there, they play with people, they now look. They said to their father, and I've said it to the younger brother, to their father, I said, oh, this one, you have, I've not met the man, but I know the younger brother already. So these children will not come back home. But it's, when they go to Nigeria, they play with everybody, and they said to their father, we love this country. We don't want to have anything to do. We are not coming here. The man has started selling dinner. And it's not this one you struggle to buy. I'm talking of things that are worth billions. Billions. Somebody is into building of a room print. You think that one is just another person? 
They said, we're not coming anyway. The man has not just sent me. What is doing is selling, dividing the money, putting in the accounts, giving them spending the money can spend. Better don't kill yourself. I want to leave 20 billion for my share. I want to build the one you'll be able to eat. So if they like, they share it later. If not, but the best thing is eh, watch after your soul. That's, that's where I'm going. As many are killing themselves, say, I want to secure this for this. I want to do that. I'm not secure your future. Train your children. And the best thing, give them off. Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Christian, it's a good uh, teach them the will of the Lord. Give them real Christian, a uh, real Jesus, not the fake one. Tell them Jesus is what pray. They don't have to continue praying for them. That's only the legacy you can give them. And this money you work for. 10 years. They will work. Very soon they will work for six months. They will have it. Amen, Amen in Jesus' name. Yes. Come on, they are in it. A pastor was talking to me. He said, a nephew. A son to what? To the sister. Because the, the sister and the husband pass on. The guy is 22. He's is in Dubai. He, said he has never seen such a way before. He's not into. All these people still in strike time, so the money they are paying the money. So, <laughs> some of us, they will return to Jesus, we can't hear it again. I said, you are going to change your profession. God will bless us in Jesus' name. Uh, other students, you study. Have we finished all the teaching? Deliverance? No, it's not that. Uh, who can cost? Okay, who can cost? Okay. Uh, we discussed for. Different types of deliverance. And look, can you mention the four? Uh, sin. Deliverance from sin. Demons. Deliverance from demon. Okay. Lola, can you can you help her? The last two: sin, demon, and we have more. Two more. Flesh and what and trouble. Uh, four different type of deliverance. Deliverance from sin. From the flesh, from trouble, from demons. And beloved, among the four, which one you can say is the best? Okay. Of deliverance from sin, from flesh, from the flesh, from trouble, and from demons. Huh? Which one you which one is the best? Huh? From demons. <laughs> from sin. They love it. If you are not even yet free from your sin, demon will continue harassing you. If you are not yet free from your sin, eh, there will be trouble. Flesh will be raising his ugly age. Because you need God is the one that will set you free. And if you are not yet free from sin, how will he help you to what? To chase away demons. Troubles will still be there. So we need deliverance from what? From sin first. That's all we, that is the problem of the old world. We are whining and dining in sin, and we stay. Obviously, can we continue sinning? And say what? Grace, you have abandoned. say, no, it cannot be. It cannot be. All this grace we are enjoying, the time is coming that the grace will come to an end. Any day you close your eyes and you are not able to open it, that's the end of what? That's the end of the grace we are talking about. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Oh, we to Jesus name. How demons gain access to man? And you say demons cannot just decide to possess or oppress a man without what? Without a curse. There will be a reason for it. We're talking of covenant curses and sin. Uh, many of us were operating under the covenant. Our father and our mother put themselves into. And we inherited those covenant and then. That's the reason we need to go to God to help us pray God who's coming up. And God will set us free in Jesus' name. Thank God today is our day of deliverance. Let's bow our head and then begin to talk to God. So, Father, touch my life today and set me free from this stronghold of sin in the name of Jesus. Father, touch my life, touch me, set me free from this stronghold of sin in Jesus' name we pray. Do we have any testifier or anybody that wants to say what the Lord has done for him or her? 
Okay. Lord, well, Lenny, can we talk to God, Lord, and pray like this? Say, Father, Lord, uh, you can say, can, can, can this day happen? We have a few hours to go. So before the end of the month of May, April, Father, do something wonderful in my life. Before the end of this month. Yes, it's going to end today, but God can still do it. So, Father, before the end of this month, do something wonderful in my life. Begin to talk to him. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's rise up. Let's time for our deliver session. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let's begin to thank Him from the bottom of our heart. Let's glorify His name. Let's bless His holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because you are great. Thank you because of your wonders in our lives. Thank you because of your faithfulness. Thank you for what you are doing all over the world. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for preventing us from going into wretchedness. Father, Lord, we thank you for your hand of glory that is still present with us, with the church, with every one of us, in our homes, in our community. Father, we bless your holy name. Thank you, because when we call, you always answer. Even before we finish calling, you are still, you always answer us. Thank you for answer prayers. Thank you for all our petitions before you. Thank you because we know you're still going to answer them. Thank you for your divine healing. Thank you for your divine blessing. Thank you for your divine provisions. Thank you for your divine protection. Thank you for everything you've done. Father, we cannot thank you enough. But the Lord, accept all our thanks. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all adoration. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's sing the song. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. There is power, mighty. In the blood, there is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. There is victory, there is victory mighty. In the blood, in the blood, there is victory mighty. In the blood, there is victory, there is victory, there is victory mighty. In the blood, there is power, there is power mighty. In the blood, in the blood, there is power mighty. In the blood, there is power mighty. In the blood of Jesus Christ, there is power mighty. In the blood, amen. amen. Uh, this session is prayer title. Prayers against causes and evil covenants. We know that uh, causes are pronunciation of evil against one's life. And we know evil, uh, we know evil covenants are what? Uh, agreements between Satan and human beings. I mean, things that are wrong. And we know the consequences of all these things is that it brings embargoes, it brings destruction, and brings termination of destinies. And it also helps one's very purpose on life, in life not to be fulfilled. So that is why everything we need to be doing is to be taking it off. Like um, Galatians 3, 13 to 14 tells us, tells us that Christ has risen us from the cause of this, of the, of, uh, from the cause of the, sorry, Christ has risen us from the cause of the law. Why? 
because he was hanged on a tree, it became a cause for us so that what so that we can receive the blessings of Abraham. So because of that, there's power in the blood of Jesus. Everything we do in the blood, by the name in the blood of Jesus, goes. And to do this, we need to always submit ourselves to the blood of Jesus and let it come, take control, like what our father just said now. You can't be what? You can't be abounding in sin and say that you should be, you can't be going on in sin and say that grace you abound. We have to leave sin for all these causes to be able to go away from our lives. Just like Revelation 12, 12, 12 11 tells us that we overcame it by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimonies. So we are going to pray. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's just break in by drinking the blood of Jesus. Let's drink it. Say, I drink the blood of Jesus I and I'm made new. I drink the blood of Jesus and drink it just personify it. I drink the blood of Jesus and I'm made whole. I drink the blood of Jesus and I'm made whole. I drink the blood of Jesus and I'm made whole. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's the first prayer. I'm saying, curses, curses and evil covenants covenant. walking alongside with me on my journey of life. Blood of Jesus, break them and set me free. In the name of Jesus, curses and evil covenants walking alongside with me on my journey of life. Blood of Jesus, break them and set me free. 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 Causes and evil covenants walking along with me on my journey of life. Lord of Jesus, break them and set me free. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. See, every known or eating causes and evil covenants holding my life in bondage. Lord of Jesus, break them and set me free. In the name of Jesus, every known or eating covenant and causes that is holding my life in bondage. Lord of Jesus, break them and set me free. Break them and set me free. Break them and set me free. In the name of Jesus, every known or hidden causes of evil covenant holding my life in bondage. Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus, break them and set me free. Break them and set me free. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say stronghold of satanic forces, supervising operation of causes and evil covenants. Upon my life, fire of God, consume them and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold of satanic forces that is supervising operations of causes and evil covenants over my life, over my home, fire of God, consume them and destroy them, consume them and destroy them, consume them and destroy them, consume them and destroy them. Consume them, and destroy them. Every stronghold of satanic forces supervising operation of causes and evil covenants over my life, fire of God, consume them and destroy them, consume them and destroy them. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say yes. spiritual wickedness in high places, promoting causes and evil covenants over my life, fire of God, consume them and destroy them. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual wickedness in high places, Promoting causes and evil covenant over my life, over my home, fire of God. Consume them and destroy them. Consume them and destroy them. Consume them and destroy them. In the name of Jesus, spiritual wickedness in high places. Promoting causes and evil covenants over my life, fire of God. Consume them and destroy them. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. See, every open legal grounds given to Satan by my ancestors. To operate causes and evil covenants upon my life, blood of Jesus, close them permanently and set me free. In the name of Jesus, every open legal grounds given to Satan by my ancestors to operate causes and evil covenants over my life, blood of Jesus, destroy them, close them permanently, and set me free. Destroy them, close them permanently, and set me free. In the name of Jesus, every open legal ground given to Satan by my ancestors to operate causes and evil covenants over my life, over my home, blood of Jesus. Destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, close them permanently, close them permanently, and set me free. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. See, any entrance I have personally given to Satan to enforce causes and evil covenants in my life and of God, destroy them, close them permanently, 
and set me free. In the name of Jesus, any entrance I have given to Satan to enforce causes and evil covenants in my life and of God, destroy them, close them permanently and set me free. Destroy them, close them permanently and set me free. Any entrance I have personally given to Satan to enforce causes and evil covenants upon my life and of God. Destroy them, destroy them, close them permanently and set me free. Destroy them, close them permanently and set me free. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. See, every evil transferred into my life through causes and evil covenants, blood of Jesus, consume them and destroy them and set me free. In the name of Jesus, every evil transferred into my life through causes and evil covenants, blood of Jesus, consume them, destroy them and set me free. Consume them, destroy them, and set me free. Consume them, destroy them, and set me free. Every evil transferred into my life through operations of causes and evil covenants. Blood of Jesus, destroy them, consume them, destroy them, and set me free. Destroy them and set me free. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. See, operations of wicked, operations of the wicked, promoting causes. An evil covenant in my life, fire of God, consume them and destroy them. In the name of Jesus, amen. There are some wicked powers. The causes will not only fight on its own, but they are the one who will be energizing it and promoting it for it to happen in one's life. They are the wicked ones. So that's why we're praying this. The operations of the wicked, promoting causes and evil covenants in my life, fire of God. Consume them, destroy them, and set me free. Fire of God, consume them, destroy them, and set me free. Every operation of the wicked, promoting causes and evil covenants in my life. Fire of God, consume them, destroy them, and set me free. Consume them, destroy them, and set me free. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. See, causes and evil covenants rising up against the glory of my destiny and of God. Break them and release me in the name of Jesus. Every cause is an evil covenant that is rising up against the glory of my destiny and of God. Break them and release me. Break them and release me. Break them and release me. Break them and release me in the name of Jesus. Break them, release me. Break them, release me. Break them and release me in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say principalities and powers activating causes and evil covenant. In my life, fire of God, consume them, destroy them, and set me free. In the name of Jesus, every principalities and powers that are promoting, activating causes and evil covenants in my life, in my home, fire of God, consume them, destroy them, and set me free. Consume them, destroy them, and set me free. Consume them, destroy them, and set me free. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. The blood of Jesus destroy every evil effect of causes and evil covenants over my life, over my family, and set us free in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus destroy every evil effect of causes and evil covenants over my life, over my family, and set us free. 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 For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. See, every habitation of causes and evil every habitation of causes and evil covenants in any areas of my life, blood of Jesus, destroy them and set me free. In the name of Jesus, every habitation of causes and evil covenants in any areas of my life, blood of Jesus, destroy them and set me free. Destroy them and set me free. Destroy them and set me free. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. See, any good thing in my life that has been destroyed by activities of causes and evil covenants, restoration power in the blood of Jesus, restore them back to me. Restore them back to me. Restore them back to me. In the name of Jesus, restore them back to me. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Shekinah glory of the living God overshadow my life and make me untouchable 
to causes and evil covenants in the name of Jesus. Shekinah glory of the living God overshadow my life, overshadow my home, and make it impossible for me to be touched by causes and evil covenants. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. As we did in the first time, Let's take the blood of Jesus. Let's begin to drink the blood of Jesus and be asking for it to make us whole and set us free. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's drink our food today. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. We're in another section. We're going to pray against evil dreams and spiritual spouse. Let us thank the Lord for what He has started in our lives. Let us give Him more the praise. Father, we thank you for what you have started in our lives collectively and individually. Lord, we magnify your holy name. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Blessed be the holy name of Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ancient of days, as old as you are. As old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. You will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are. You will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the bread. Just blood of the Lamb. Amen. Let us pray like this. Any spiritual spouse claiming to be my wife, fire of Holy Ghost, separate us now in the name of Jesus. Any spiritual spouse claiming to be my wife, fire of Holy Ghost, separate us in the name of Jesus. Fire of Holy Ghost, separate us, separate us. Separate us, 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 fire of Holy Ghost, separate us, separate us, separate us, separate us, separate us, separate us, separate us. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Any evil agreement between me and any spiritual spouse, Lord of Jesus, break the agreement in the name of Jesus. Any evil agreement. Between me and any spiritual spouse, blood of Jesus, break the agreement in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, break the agreement in the name of Jesus. Break the agreement, break the agreement, break the agreement, break, break the agreement. Blood of Jesus, break the agreement, 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 break the agreement in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, break the agreement, blood of Jesus. Break the agreement, break the agreement in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, break the agreement in the name of Jesus. Break the agreement, break the agreement in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Any deposit of any spiritual spouse troubling my life, troubling my destiny, 
Blood of Jesus flows them out. In the name of Jesus, spiritual deposit, evil deposit from any spiritual spouse, trouble, man, I trouble my destiny. Blood of Jesus flows them out. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus flows them out, flows them out, flows them out, flows them out, flows them out. Blood of Jesus flows them out. Blood of Jesus flows them out. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus flows them out, flows them out. Flush them out, 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 flush them out in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, flush them out in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, flush them out in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Any spiritual spouse harassing my life in my sleep, blood of Jesus, deliver me now. In the name of Jesus, any spiritual spouse harassing me in my dream, blood of Jesus, deliver me, 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 in the name of Jesus, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Blood of Jesus, arise and buy me back from any spiritual spouse, troubling my life and my destiny. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, arise and buy me back from any spiritual spouse, troubling my life, troubling my destiny. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, buy me back. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Buy me back, buy me back, buy me back in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Buy me back in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Buy me back in, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Oh God, arise and deliver me from any spiritual spouse troubling my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and deliver me from any spiritual spouse. Trouble my life, trouble my destiny. Trouble my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise in your power. Deliver me, deliver me from spiritual spouse. Trouble my life, trouble my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I recover back all the good things taken away from me by a spiritual spouse. In the name of Jesus, I recover back all good things, all my entitlement. Lord God Jesus, stolen away by any spiritual spouse, I recover back. I recover back in the name of Jesus. All, all my entitlement, my destiny, my virtues, I recover back. Stolen away or taken away by spiritual spouse, I recover back in the name of Jesus. I recover back. I recover back. I recover back. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Any evil dream. I've had about my life, or other people have had about me. You will never come to pass in the name of Jesus. Any evil dream I've had about myself, or other people have had about me. You will never come to pass in the name of Jesus. You will never come to pass. You will never come to pass. You will never come to pass. You will never come to pass in the name of Jesus. You will never come to pass in the name of Jesus. You will never come to pass in the name of Jesus over my life. Over my home, you never come to pass. In the name of Jesus, you will never come to pass. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The opposite of darkness in my life, while I was asleep, be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, the opposite of the wicked in my life, planted in my life while I was as asleep, be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted in the name of Jesus. 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 Be uprooted. Be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Dream of failure. Dream of nakedness. Over my life. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. Dream of failure. Dream of nakedness. You will never operate again over my life, over my home. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. 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 
Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. Strangers that came into my life while I was asleep, fire of Holy Ghost, chase them out now. In the name of Jesus, strangers that came into my life while I was asleep, fire of Holy Ghost, chase them out. In the name of Jesus, chase them out, chase them out. Fire of Holy Ghost, chase them out. In the name of Jesus, fire of Holy Ghost, chase them out, chase them out. Fire of Holy Ghost, chase them out in the name of Jesus. 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 Chase them out in Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed. Any evil dream appearing at the edge of my success be cancelled now in the name of Jesus. Evil dream. My appearing, appearing at the end of my sources. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Any evil dream against my against the purpose of God. For my life, be cancelled now. In the name of Jesus, evil dream against the plan and the purpose of God for my life. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Spiritual robbers, stealing from me in my dream. Restore what you have stolen and be wasted. In the name of Jesus, spiritual robbers, stealing from me while I was asleep. Anytime in my, in my sleep, in my sleep, return what you have stolen and be wasted in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Any evil dream waiting to manifest in my future, you will never manifest. I cancel you with the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. Evil dreams are waiting to manifest in my future. In the future of my hope, you will never come to pass. Be cancelled with the blood of Jesus. I cancel 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 with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Oh God, arise and deliver me now from every evil dreams. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, deliver me from evil dreams. In the name of Jesus, deliver me from evil dreams. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, deliver me from evil dreams. Deliver my home, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. In the name of Jesus, deliver my home. In the name of Jesus, deliver me, deliver me, deliver my home. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Whatever I have lost in my dream, I recover you back in sevenfold. In the name of Jesus, whatever I have lost in my dream, in my sleep, I recover you back in sevenfold. In the name of Jesus, I recover you back by the mercy of God. I recover you back in the name of Jesus. I recover you back. I recover you back in sevenfold. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's continue to thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue to appreciate him. Let's continue to thank him. Let's continue to thank him. Let's continue to appreciate him. Let us thank him. Let us thank him. Let us thank him. Let us thank him. Let's give him all the Lord. Let us thank him. Let us thank him. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank him. Amen. Jehovah is yes. our name. 
to pray without prayer. And you don't find yourself in a situation you'll be begging for prayer. Yes. Yes. Some people are begging people here and there. I never knew. And when we turn around, we say, ah, they will look at themselves and say, ah, they they were we we're talking and talking. And something will be telling me, it's like, that person, I went and asked her, I said, the person, where is he living? Dang it up, dang it up. Not me. It was the person known to me. Until another day, another person asked him, Pastor, have you heard it? I said, ah, okay, have you heard it? I said, no. Do you know this person, Pastor? Something just said, that was the same person your wife was talking about. And if I knew the person my wife was looking after, somebody known to me by the way. Then I began to dig deep into it. Started begging for prayer, but it was too late. And we're not find ourselves in a such situation in Jesus' name. Mm. Yeah. They treated him. Things were flared right there. Suddenly, the things dropped again. And they said, No way out. That is, they will not allow people to touch him. Say, so You this nonsense. You're not allowed to touch him. I'm not allowed to do this. How oh, this guy. But they still, they did with Pastor. Because my wife will always talk to him. Somebody will be to, I've been to his house before. They pray, Lord, they pray. So when you have an opportunity to pray, pray, pray. Nobody, one of the woman is a moon, it gives anything. If somebody is passing through, and you look at yourself and say, no, and this can happen to me. Ah, I love it. The worst can happen. And you don't see such a thing in Jesus' name. Uh, yeah. Say strong man of affliction. Strong man of affliction. Assigned to harass my life. Assigned to harass my life. You are a liar. You are a liar. Be arrested this morning. Be arrested in the name. Be a strong man of affliction. Assigned to harass my life. To harass my life. To harass my life. Mention my name. 
You can't remember it. Say, I, ah. Elijah, I refuse to wear I refuse garment, to of wear garment of affliction. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to wear. I refuse to wear. Yes, we refuse to wear. In the name of Jesus. And everyone here today, we refuse to wear garment of affliction. In the name of Jesus. You, garment of affliction. You will not be our size. In the name of Jesus. Garment of affliction. You will not. You will not say good. You will not say good. In the name of Jesus, you will not say good. You will not say good. You will not say good. In the name of Jesus, you will not say good. Amen. Father and God, we thank you. We appreciate you for this deliverance Sunday. We give you all the glory for all you've done. Father, unto you be the glory. As we examine your word briefly, speak unto us. Thank you, Father. Jesus, now we pray. Amen. I want to print on in the prayer we started last month. Title My Affliction Must Obey the Voice of God. My said last month that each and every one will go what we are passing through. Only that the level of affliction is different from each other. Everybody has done one thing or the other that's going through. And if that thing fails to obey the voice of God, beloved, that's the hint. It's only God that can take away any affliction. It's only God that can bring solution. Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. By strength shall no man prevail. Your strength cannot save you. And my strength cannot save you. It's only God that can you, that can save one. Well, and that's the reason when you have opportunity to talk to him, talk to him clearly. Don't joke with God. Though. God is not the one you can play with. Hello, man. Last month, I took a prayer from the book of Matthew. Uh, this message from the book of Matthew 18, verse 1 to what? 17. And we read Psalm 107, 13 to 20. But this morning, let's go to the book of Psalm 29, where we read this morning. My affliction must obey the voice of God. Psalm 29, and I'll be reading from verse 1. Say, Give unto the Lord, O ye my faith, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto what? Unto his name. We must, always, we must always give the glory due unto God, unto God. That is, when it is time for God, let it be time for God. When it is time for yourself, let it be time for yourself. Even at home, not to talk of when you are in his presence, always give him the glory due unto him. Say, so worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Say, so the voice of the Lord is upon the what? The waters. The the God of glory thundering. The Lord is upon many what? Many waters. Verse 4. So the voice of the Lord is powerful. We are talking about affliction to obey the what? The voice of God. And the Bible says the voice of the Lord is what? Is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of what? Of majesty. It's not this season, this era where in the olden days, when a king give an order, what do you do? You obey, not to not talk of God. And that's the reason you will see them. They will be hijacking people's wife, hijacking people's land. And they, yeah, because they have what? Authority, the power and the authority. And when you're not talking of what? The king of kings. Up to now, his own authority is what? He's still there. His authority that can never change. We're talking about his voice. When they give orders, nobody they say no to his order. All he needs to do about your condition and situation is to give order. And the situation will obey immediately. Yes, it can ask any situation to what to disappear, and that will be the end of everything. It can ask that sickness to say no to you, and that is it. It can ask that poverty, say, poverty, disappear. Affliction, stop, and that is it. That's why. See, the voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. That is the big tree. You don't need anything to cut them down. But the voice of God can what? Can uproot them. We, we were all around during the time of tsunamis. Can any tree or anything be talking that time? Yeah, everything. And those of us that serve people in America, uh, it was every year, they will always be experiencing and they will give him a name. Orike Morimi. Orike Kabayatu. 
Because if I was asking what is where they get it in your book, I'm also just they just they just think of it and give you because I've always been wondering, or okay, Andrew, or okay, this okay. Amen. A friend of mine was planning to come to Nigeria at the time I was in Nigeria. Then later he called and said, because he wants me to help him buy some things that he wants to come and do something. And I said, I'm not coming. I said, why? He said, the money I'm supposed to use, I'm going to use it to cut tree. I said, which tree? He said, some tree fell into my house. I said, tree fell into your house. And what's that? Want to... Can't look for something to cut. He said, no, you have to go and call specialist. I can see the way they live their life. And you are here, you better be thanking God. So you can't cut it. If anything happens, your neighbor will call police and there will be a problem. So you have to call specialists. <coughs> so that's another. I say every year, at least something must happen. <coughs> but here we are. That is why you are calling the uh, school here. It's very close to minus one, minus 40, minus 30. <coughs> when they say, Pastor, we, I, do you want to? I say, look this way. If I leave this country, I'm going back to Nigeria. <laughs> not anymore. I, I, even my body is not like before. When I came to this country, even when it's minus two, minus three, I'll be drinking ice water. I will open my window, but now my body is saying, no, you can't continue. <laughs> so the voice of the Lord breaker the cedars. Yeah, the Lord breaker the cedars about Lebanon. Verses. He make them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon, Syrian, like a young unicorn. He said, the voice of the Lord divided the one, the flames of fire. And that's the reason he said, when you are going through fire, eh, yeah, we'll be there with you. they will not bother you. And when you are going through the water, no, they are not going to overflow you because the voice will be there with you. Say the voice of the Lord shake the wilderness. Are you having a wilderness experience? We have the voice that can what that can shake that wilderness and bring you out of it. The voice of the Lord shaken the wilderness of Kadesh. Say the voice of the Lord make the enemies to calf and destroy the, the what the forest. And his temple do everyone speak of his what of his glory. The voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord. What is that thing you are going through? All you need is to call the voice of God upon that thing. All you need is to tell God to speak into that situation. We learn from that place. That man said to Jesus, when we read last one, Matthew 18, he said, just speak what the word. And the Bible says, he sent his word, his word. And that word heal them and deliver them from what? From their destruction. All you need is the voice of God. It is because he has you know what? Says something about that situation. He, he has spoken. You know, that will be the end of everything. All you need is to say, Father, speak to my situation. Speak to my situation. Speak to it. Do you know? Just one word. You see, it is possible that we'll be talking to you that we'll be, and we'll be panabiting it, be turning it. God will not talk like that. Do you know one minute revelation sometimes can cover 20 years? You will open your eyes and you will not be wondering. Say, how long have I been? Have I been dreaming? And it's only one, 10 minutes. You now, sometimes you've already you've already woken up from your sleep and you just do so. And you will find yourself in another place. And it's, you will open your eyes and say, ah, but I was looking later, it was five o'clock. Now it's a quarter after. Ah, and the dream will be like, what? Three hours, four hours. Dream. Yeah, the, yeah, you will not be one as ah, that. But you tell me that. She moves here And that's God for you. Doesn't know you will just say something and it will happen. Beloved. Oh, you need to tell him, say, Father, may there be a word. Every situation has God was the right word for it. All you need is just for God to say something about that, and that will be the end of everything. I am praying for you. The right word for your situation will locate you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, home, chapter 1, verse 7 to 9. Say, the Lord is good. The Lord is what? Is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. What is stronghold? Where somebody can what? Can hide. And as the reason Bible says, the name of Jesus is a strong what? Tower. Tower. It's a stronghold. That is the righteous, not the sinners. 
the righteous run it into that name, into that strong and they are what and they are saved. If the name of Jesus can no longer save you, then there's a problem somewhere. If the name of Jesus can no longer carry you, then there is a problem. Why are people seeking for other powers? Why are people looking here and there for other things? Because the name is no more what working for them. I am praying for you. You and myself will not get to a situation where the name will not work for us in Jesus' name. Do you know King Saul got to that stage where the name of God was no longer what? Working for him. And that's the reason he started seeking for who? Which of what? Of Endo. Uh, Luke came for what? Uh, Necromancer. A book so. So go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The man that has passed on. I will not say during that time, they don't have another prophet again. Because he has lost it. But he tried Urim. It wasn't working. He tried the word of God. It wasn't working. He tried every channel. Blackout. We will not get to that level. That's the reason why you have opportunity to serve him. Serve him. Serve him. Serve him. Say so the Lord is good. A strong in the day of trouble. And he knows them that what? That trust in him. He knows. Standing in his front does not mean you trust in him. Jumping up and that does not mean some trust in Juju. Juju. And you are, you are they will be saying, Father, that you say, Amen. And the one that is saying, Father, the name of you, Juju is under his clothes. And you be say, Amen. I claim it. I receive it. He said to me. And the person calling the Juju, the one. God will help us. Some have drank blood before coming to the front. And you will say, Father, that you say, Amen. Amen. He knows what that, what that trust him. See, but with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof. And that means he has pursued his enemies. Now look at verse 9. Say, what do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise the second time. I am praying for you. Affliction will not rise again in your life in the name of Jesus. Those battles you've won in the tempest. They will not come against you again in the name of Jesus. Those enemies you've defeated, they will not rise again in your life in the name of Jesus. Uh, I'm not saying you're not going to be confronted with some things, but not the one that you say, oh, ah, God has done it for me. And you are now back against her. Ah, what has happened again? My affliction must obey the voice of God. We talk about to obey, what it means, means to, uh, to comply with others. I will talk about the, the voice of God. It says the voice of deliverance, voice of perfection. And we stop at what is affliction. And we say a state of pain, distress, or grief. What is affliction? Torment. 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 Like I mentioned, it, I've never seen such a thing before. I went for an appointment in the hospital. And the other sat down with the son and the daughter. And when it was time for doctor to put them in, the man just, at least just, like that just cough, stop and stop and stiff. And they were doing everything. They let everything hang. Do you know? At this stage, water was just troubling me. Because I've never seen such a thing, even as a pastor. The man was just there. They, were, they just, they heard him, the daughter and the son. And we were looking, all of us were panicking. Even the doctor didn't know, we're running around. He said, don't worry, don't worry, we'll get back. And we're looking, it wasn't a left seal. He was just there, he could not move again. He was, and he was shouting, because the pain was too much. I said, what is this? He said, can we help you? He said, there's nothing, he said, to him. They said to us, leave him, he will soon be back. I said, from where? So don't know what he went back from where? Eh? Affliction. <laughs> and he knows his way. Bit way, shake it. Should we carry him to the this? They said, don't carry him. Should we put him on the bed? They said, no. That's how he moved it. And it was just there on the, on the, on the shape. 
and the son grabbed the two and the daughter grabbed the two them, and the man was shouting. And within five to ten minutes, everything calmed down. And they started asking for what to find her. I said, ah, what is this one again? Better time for that. They, they know this. They were even asking question. This is how it's going to. They say yes. I, I think he was there for another thing, and that was they say he always passed through that thing every time like that. And the man was talking, you no know, way, talking. Everybody, you know, when you are asking question, and immediately they started. You know, if it's FCC, where you, you know, somebody, this one was not. Even, I'm never by my life since as a father. I thank you. What is affliction? <laughs> Something that causes mental or bodily pain as a sickness, loss, calamity, persecution. Beloved, persecution can cause what? Affliction. That's it that called me about two weeks ago, in the middle of the night. And the way she was talking, I knew she was crying. I said, What is this? She said, I go to this position. I'll teach her mention something like that. Say, Now, because they work in the oil company. Some people want to be stealing and they can't do it without passing through me. And now they are reporting everywhere. <sighs> See, sir, I want to go and decide. I say, ah, you decide? Do you have another thing you want to do? I say, well, look at that. I say, wait. In a country where people are crying, looking for jobs, I say, we need to pray. They pass it. Could tell her to the extent she was crying. And the next time she will call me. She did not even come. Okay, she sent me a message to me. Tossing. Around 2 or 3 30 in the morning. I just saw the message. Say, sir, 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 sir. I saw a bird on, on top of my head. I tried to drag the, the bird. I could not drag the bird. I started shouting on the hand. Okay. And when I called her immediately, she was panting. I said, ah, I'm going to share it with you. Because they said, we are going to deal with you. Huh? Because she's there. Eh? Because she's not ready to watch to join them to do that. Persecution can also bring what affliction. That's only one. Why did they throw? Why did they throw a down into the what? Irons them. Those Hebrew boys. Why did they put them in the fire? Because they they refuse to agree with what they are doing. Do you know many of us we are suffering now because of what? Of, they come in what are Christian because we are Christian. Some people are not happy. Say, okay, over here, shall we? And yet, you are not saying you must have the idol we are serving. Say, so you are not ready, we are going to be dealing with. Some people, the reason they could not serve God is because of what? Their foundation and their background. Because the power behind them from their father's house, mother's house will not allow them to go easily. Some people want to work. They really want to work for God, but the power of their father's house will not allow them to be official. And when you go through your Bible, I want to leave you very soon. But we see people that pass through afflictions in the Bible. Yeah, man, beloved, yeah, not the first one. He will not be the last one. And then, beloved, all I am saying is that affliction will not see your hand. You are the one that will see the end of affliction. If you go to first Samuel chapter 1, 8 to 19, you will see the Story of Anna there. The woman was passing through affliction, and at the same time, huh, the other wife was persecuting her. Luke 8, 43 to 48, you will see the woman with the issue of God there. That was his all her money. Eh? Yeah, she wasted everything on that affliction. John chapter 11, 31 to 44. You will see the story of Lazarus there. The affliction did not just come upon him, the affliction killed him also. Luke 7, 11 to 16. Luke 7, 11 to 16. You will see the story of that woman with the only son, the widow name. Just one son. One son. I read the story of that woman. So said, They killed my husband. We've been together for 12 years and we had four still baths and we're still praying that God will give us another one. And you've killed a man, huh? a policeman. 
and the authority of police killed him and also they lock him up. Somebody who was vomiting uh, at the same time, have a his stomach, and they left it in the prison until the man died. I know how they can lie. They say when we got him, he was already drunk, and we put him in the cell. They, they were lying against the police like them because they killed him. And the woman was just shouting, said, they killed my only. Because we are still, they, they are still waiting. And now, where's the woman going to start from again? Going to be 50 very soon. Many of those are passed through affliction and God terminated their affliction again, children of Israel, and they are going to promise that. Exodus 14, verse 10 to 31. Exodus 14. And below it, the last one below it. Those that are passed through affliction, the we all those widows at Joppa, uh, Acts 9, 36 to 42. They started crying because they know what will happen to them without doctors being around. They know what. And they were, many of them were really crying because of <laughs> doctors. But because what? Doctors will always look after their welfare. And they know what will happen. Maybe they are the only person that engaged in save our soul in that land. And when the woman passed on, they started crying because they know. And God used Peter to what? To terminate their affliction. Because as at that time, there was no replacement for doctors as at that time. And that's the reason they started crying. Say, come and see if this woman failed to come back to the land of the living, we are going to be passing through a lot. A lot of it, we want to go and pray. Say, my affliction must obey the voice of God. You want your affliction to obey the voice of God, you must be a friend of God. You want your affliction to obey the voice of God, you must run away from your son. Rise up your feet, beloved. We want to go and pray. The voice of God is powerful. The voice of God is powerful. And that is the reason we decree the next way loud and clear. Say, my long time affliction. My long time affliction. Hey, beloved, when the affliction is becoming one year, two years, three years, we are counting years. Uh, it's only God that can do it. Nobody can do it for you. Say, my long time affliction. Hear the word of the Lord. Be buried today. In the name of Jesus, you, my long term official, hear the voice of the living God. Be buried, 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 Waste my time, wasting my, my resources. Mm. So my religion will be wasting one's time, and it will be wasting one's resources. So any affliction, any affliction, wasting my time, wasting my resources. Hear the voice of God today. Disappear now in the name of Jesus. Disappear, 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 disappear. This up here, this up here, this up here, this up here. Any affliction, wasting my time, wasting my resources. He knows it all. This up here, this up here. He heard the voice of the living God. This up here, this up here, this up here, this up here, this up here. In Jesus' name we pray. See, affliction that destroyed others. Affliction that destroyed others. In my father's house. In my mother's house. In my inner's house. house. I am not your candidate. Disappear from my life now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. That destroyed others. In my father's house. In my mother's house. In my inner's house. Hear the voice of the living God. Yes. This up here, this up here, from a dealer, from a dealer, my children, this up here, 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 I am no longer your country, this up here, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. Pray this one, we are praying three times, then we pray one more. The voice of deliverance. Voice of deliverance. Locate me today Locate me. and deliver me totally. Deliver me. In the name of 
Jesus. Voice of deliverance. Yes. Locate. Locate. Locate everyone here to this. Locate those connected to this program. Deliver us. Deliver us totally. In the name of Jesus. Deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver us. In Jesus' name we pray. Now talking about the voice of God. Pray again. That's a prayer. This is a Say, voice of deliverance. Locate me today and deliver me totally. In the name of Jesus. Locate me today. Deliver me totally. Yes. Voice of God. Voice of deliverance. Locate me. Locate my wife. Locate my children. Locate everyone here today. Deliver us. Deliver us. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going into all time. Decree loud and clear. Say, voice of deliverance. My life is available. Lord, catch me today and deliver me totally. In the name of Jesus. My life is available. Like yes, Lord, catch me today. Deliver me. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Okay, Lord, this is the last prayer. I will give you time, like, a few minutes to pray this prayer. Pray this prayer for a while. See, affliction that must disappear. Affliction that must disappear. For my glory to appear. For my glory to appear. The affliction that must disappear for my glory to appear, disappear now in the name of Jesus. Disappear now, disappear, 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 disappear. Yes, affliction that must disappear for my glory to appear. Disappear, 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 Obey the voice of God and he missed me. Let me go. Begin to talk to him. Talk to him. That situation you don't want again. That affliction. And if you don't have any, you are allowed to intercede also on behalf of somebody. Yes. Begin to talk to him. Talk to me, Lord. Talk to him. Talk to him. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. I pray for you. That affliction, you shall not see them again in the name of Jesus. Amen. There shall not be a resurrection of affliction in your life again in the name of Jesus. Amen. The offering, the tithes, you brought them today, you will accept it, you will multiply it. And it will return it to, back to your multiple food. You will not lack any good thing. In Jesus' name, we are praying. So those connected online, you can see our account is has been displayed. And God will bless you as we give one to him. And we let's listen to the announcement. This is our very Christ ministry. We meet there every Sunday like this, between the hour of 9.15 and 12.15. And every last Sunday like this is our what? Deliverance Sunday. And by grace, next Sunday is going to be our what? First Sunday of the month, and it's going to be our Thanksgiving Sunday. And God will bless you as you come to his presence to praise him and to dance before him. So when you are coming, dress properly. And it shall be well with you. On Tuesday, we continue with our service. The seven Tuesday of healing service. So it's going to be number three this Tuesday. And God will bless you. On Saturday, we're still waiting for our prayer line. 
hour of his faithfulness between 9 and 10 p.m. And God will bless us as we connect to all this program. And over, this is our year of unlimited joy. And God will bless us with unlimited joy this day in Jesus' name. Okay. We have anything to tell him, but then we begin to talk to him now. We want to share the grace. We still have anything to tell him. Say, Father, this is my heart desire. Talk to you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's rise up on our feet as we share the grace of fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet Father of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God will bless and bless your followers all the days of our life, and we shall join us with the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 91, verse 1. Say, I that dwell in the secret place shall abide under the shadow of your mother. The second time, beloved, say, I that dwell in the secret place shall abide under the shadow. Make the third one inclusive. Say, I, my wife, my children, and everyone here and our family that dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Let's give unto the Lord seven powerful years. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. God bless you. God bless you. See you on Tuesday.